Question one, given the two inequalities, what is the greatest possible integer value for x? So three x plus one is greater than or equal to eight. So three x greater than or equal to seven. So x greater than or equal to seven by three, uh, which would be 2.33 and 4x minus 1 less than 3 times x plus 3, uh, 3x plus 9, so x less than 10. So what is the greatest possible integer value? That would be 9. In the xy plane, line m passes through this point and is perpendicular to this line which passes through these points. What is the equation of m? Okay, so what is the slope of line n? It is minus four by uh, minus six, so that's two by three. So the slope of m would be minus three by two because they are perpendicular. So y is equal to minus three by two x plus c is the equation for m. And it passes through 2 comma 5. So 5 is minus 3 plus C. So C is 8. So the equation for M becomes minus 3 by 2X plus 8. A company for renting cars published on their website a summary of the amount they won during the past few years from renting cars and trucks. What is the sum of the average of the amount earned for renting cars and trucks during the years 2017 to uh, 20, renting cars and trucks. Okay, so basically uh, we have to add all of these and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so let's take approximate values, uh, 14, 900, 8,000, 9,000, 8,600, uh, 8,000, uh, 13,900, 12,000, and 14,000, right? So, um, so if you look at the values, this seems too small for an average, and these two are outside the range, so it should be B. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is the percentage increase of the amount earned for renting trucks from 2015 to 17 renting trucks? So 7 triple eight point three two eight zero five zero point two. Okay. So this percentage increase would be Eight zero five zero point two minus seven triple eight point three divided by seven triple eight point three, and this whole multiplied by hundred. So let's plug that in. Uh, okay, eight zero five zero point two minus seven triple eight point three. That divided by uh, seven triple eight. One second. Uh -huh. Seven triple eight point three. Yeah. So that comes to about two percent, right? Two point zero five percent. Yeah. This company has only one employee who works for $16.50 per month. In which year was this company unable to pay his full wage from the amount earned from renting cars and trucks? Okay, $16.50 into 12, right? So zero carry six, eight carry seven, 19, right? So 13, it was able to cross, it was able to cross, it was able to cross. Yeah, in 2015, it was not able to reach 19,800. Amina has a bag of six black balls and four green balls. Hamad has a bag of this. 
one ball is drawn from each bag what is the probability that one is black and one is green okay so let's say black from amina and uh, green from hamad or black from hamad and green from amina okay so black from amina would be 6 by 10 and green from Hamad would be 5 by 8. And black for Hamad would be 3 by 8. And green for Amina would be 4 by 10. So 5 into 2, 2 into 3. So 3 by 8 plus 4 into 2, uh, 3 by 20. Right? Yeah. So 40, 15 plus 6, so 21 by 40, so that's 22.1 by 4, so uh, 0.525, right? Wait, uh, 20, wait, 4.520, 10, 8, Two. Yeah, point five two five. Yeah. Which of the following ordered pairs satisfy both inequalities? X plus three y less than or equal to eight, and two x minus y greater than nine. Okay. So let's start with option A. X plus three y would be nine, which is not less than or equal to eight. So A is out. Uh, 1 plus 6, 7 is less than or equal to 8 and 2 minus 2 is 0, which is not greater than 9. Okay, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, which is less than or equal to 8 and 2 plus 2, 4, which is not greater than 9, so not C and D. 1 minus 27, which is less than or equal to 8, and 2 plus 9, 11, we are. So, D is the answer. In the figure shown, triangle B, T, C is right angled at D with angle C, B, D, 40, and angle C, A, B, 35, and A, C is 10. What is the length of this segment? A, B, X, right? This one. Okay, so, um, so what is tan 35? Tan 35 will be CD by AD, CD by AD, right? Uh, wait, do I need that? No, I don't need tan, right? I should use... Oh, one second. Yeah, so if this is 10, okay, never mind. Yeah, so uh, tan 35 is CD by AD, right? And what about using this, right? So I should use, uh, let me use cos 35, cos 35 is AD by 10, right? So AD is 10 cos 35. So that is how much? Let's figure that out. Uh, cos 35, right? Uh, wait. I'm supposed to use um, yeah okay so we have cos 35 cos 35 is 0 0.82 so AD becomes uh, 8.2 okay so this is 8.2 and uh, and what about uh, cos 40. Wait, first let me find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first let me find CD. So CD will be 
square root of 100 minus 8.2 squared by Pythagoras theorem. So that would be uh, 100 minus 8.2 squared. Yeah, and the square root of that, square root 32.76, right? So square root of 32.76, which is 5.72, okay. So this is 5.72. Yeah, now I can use tan 40. Tan 40 is 5.72 by BD. So BD is 5.72 divided by tan 40, which is 6.82. 6.82, right? So now x will be 8.2 minus 6.82, which is 1.3, so a. During the final game of UEFA Euro 2020 between Italy and England, 67,173 fans attended the game in Wembley Stadium in London. Assuming that the ratio of adults to children attended the game was this, which is the number of children. So that will be 6 by 13 plus 6 into 67, 173. So 6 by 19 into 67, 173. So 6 divided by 19 is this and this multiplied by 6, 7, 173. So 21,212, yeah. What is the solution for x? 2 is square root of 2x minus 3. So 4 is 2x minus 3. So 2x is 7. So x is 